YouTube. Hey, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Breezy. Eyes and ears tactical. Uh, just letting you, I was just here on a Monday afternoon, or it's actually West Coast time. It's about, I don't know, man, it's like five, five to 30, something like that. But getting ready, I uh, watched my daughter play softball. That's why he smoothed the softball stuff on. As you know, my daughter's a junior in high school, uh, playing Loma High. She's a, she's a middle infielder. Gonna go to like gonna, gonna gonna go to Xavier University in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Once she graduates, twenty twenty four. It's been a long journey playing since she's been five years old. So I coached her pretty much travel ball and all that stuff. So uh, just a little background: four point two GPA, smart kid, great kid, wonderful kid, great artist, all that stuff. But anyway, man, I was just here because I was talking to some of the, some dads over here. You know, I live in Point Loma, San Diego. Uh, there's a lot of ex-military uh you know like i said navy seals trained here and there's a there's some parents here kids and people you know a lot of random people who've been through a lot of you know war and stuff like that so it's a lot of crazy stuff you know a lot of kids been deployed out of here because san clemente's right up the road you know so anyway we were just talking and uh recently uh here and uh i don't know was it la county uh yesterday a lift driver was uh jacked by three uh males i'm not gonna say what their nationality is because it's not about the race it should be about the crime um uh, i will say the person didn't look like me <laughs> no it wasn't us but yeah three 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 people jacked uh uh the lift driver and all that kind of said at gunpoint and the lift driver got out and everything but you lived and survived but uh just just showing you man like that 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 ride share drives up be careful with that stuff too like if you if you're a ride share driver, man, make sure you make don't be letting people get in your car with masks and all that kind of stuff and be around your surroundings and stuff. And I think in ride share policy you can't have a firearm, if I recall. Somebody check me check me on that. But uh anyway, I just wanna just throw that little news alert out there. Another thing to look out for. Uh someone was asked me like, you know, have I ever been in a situation where a gun was put on me up here just a few minutes ago, because they know I got a YouTube channel and I'm a gun guy. And um I'm gonna keep it real for you. There has been uh, three, I can think of three, I'm old now, I'm 54, I can't remember, but I can remember vividly the first time I ever had a gun put on me was by the Alameda Police Department in Alameda, California for no reason at all. I was riding with some friends in the car, uh, make a long story, so I'm gonna speed this up because I don't want to be a long ass video, make a long story, I can go back and do a story this later, but bottom line, I was with two other individuals, uh, person driving had their driver's license pulled us over the reason why they pulled us over because someone called and said that this individual uh assaulted them but it turns out to make a long story short they had the wrong person wrong car wrong everything but they pulled us over they had guns at the window shotguns now i know what i know ar-15s everything this is back in 1992 ish and guns all at the window get out don't move and then the driver was like miss my buddy i ain't gonna say his name he was pissed like man what was what 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 i'm like man don't move dude these motherfuckers gonna shoot i'm in the i'm in the back on the passenger back seat and a mother friend in the front seat and he got his hands on the dashboard this motherfucker looking back trying to move and, and i contest with the cops and i'm like man you that man i'm like keep your hands on the steering wheel they're gonna shoot your ass they got guns everything man so that's the first encounter uh the second encounter was uh the second encounter, oh man, I skipped. The first encounter was, I was in the uh, eighth grade and we were at the at a park, finishing up playing strikeout baseball, whatever, like whatever, playing me and my homies. And then this is in eighth grade, and this dude who's a neighborhood menace was a ex, was a was an ex villain. Uh, you know, but the irony was the dude only had one dude that had no legs and only had one arm. I know it sounds crazy, man, but this motherfucker, man, this dude named this dude, I can't, I don't know say his name, but this dude was crazy, but and he was known to jack people, and everybody said, like, how oh, you jack somebody with one arm and he in a wheelchair? But he was yoked, the one arm was super yoked, he was buff, and all this kind of stuff. Supposedly, he got ran over by a train when he was a kid, and he went to the pen, all kind of shit, he was crazy, but he pulled a gun on us one night and tried to rob us, and uh, one of the individuals I was with. Uh, the only reason why I'm probably here today because we we're all here. It's all against the wall, pinned up. And he's like, "Man, you got y'all. I'm taking that with a move." And then my buddy said, "Cops." One of my buddies said, "Cops." 
and then everybody scattered like roaches. And he only had one arm. And in theory, when we all met up and ran, we met to met at the liquor store, got drunk and shit was crazy. He said the reason why I did it because I knew that he only had one arm, so you know he couldn't move and get everybody. He said I know who he's gonna get, but he never fired the gun anyway. And I think he was just gonna rob us and jack us. So that's the that was the first encounter, but the second encounter was with the Alameda police, and the third encounter was with the Oakland police in Oakland, California. And we was by the lake and lake and uh by the Lake Merrick and they used to have this concert called uh, Reggae by the uh it was uh what was it? They used to have Reggae by the Lake or something like that. Oakland I can't remember what that festival was, but it was a reggae, big reggae concert they had it every year by the lake in Lake Merrick. And then we were just in a in a cutway through some apartment complexes drinking beer, but the cops were probably patrolling doing stuff. It was a big event, a lot of reggae shows, food fest. Uh, festival by the lake festival by the lake if you're from the bay area festival by the lake i got i shot him blank because they took it away it, you know they fucked it all up man they used to have like all different exotic foods it was like a food fest cultural fest with reggae groups caribbean groups it was a lit it was lit but they they canceled because they had a couple of shootings and shit fucked it all up but in this one particular year i was there we was in the cut drinking and smoking and everything and uh some cops came up man like rogue as fuck you could tell they were rogue came up pull up guns but get against the wall, motherfuckers. Get up the wall. We all got on the wall. Had guns all on our back and shit. We, we, we patting us down. They, they found some weed. We ain't had nothing else and all that stuff. And then they realized they had the wrong people because they ran all our shit. And we all ain't got no warrants or nothing. So that was my three encounters with the, with the with, with guns put on me. I've never had an assailant, a villain, a person and, and, uh, pull a gun on me. It's I've been, well, I, other than poke the one-armed bandit. But two, two by law enforcement unlawfully, in my personal opinion, violated and one by a dude with one arm so that's my encounters with with guns being pulled on me in live action that's your boy eyes and ears tackle hey check out my channel man like comment subscribe i appreciate all you guys support everybody stay alert stay ready and stay blessed this is your boy out